Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. So sister, how you doing? This man, his name is Mr. Samuels. Mr. Samuels is 79 years old. Mr. Samuels' grandfather was a slave. I showed Mr. Samuels the reason why black people went into slavery. You want to know what that is? Because the men want to dress like women. The women want to dress like men. Men don't want to be faithful to their wives. Wives don't want to be faithful to their husbands. We broke God's laws. That's why we live in ghetto, sister. Read. Back to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And sister, if you call yourself an African American or a black American or a black Christian, you are 100% wrong. Read. And will yet choose Israel. You're going to choose the Israelites. That's who you are. And you know what you're going to learn to get right with God? Is everything that the white man told you black sisters. I'm not, I'm not angry with you. I'm angry with his system. Everything that they told the black woman, sister, work with what you got, wear what you want, don't work. No, that's all 100% wrong. Black women are supposed to wear long dresses, not show their cleavage off. Be protective of their bodies. Let me give you an example. You remember your grandmother? I guarantee your grandmother walked around with books and covered her breast. I guarantee it. And so why are these young black women walk around showing all their breasts today? You got to be the example for them. You gonna, I'm, not, I'm not looking at you like that. You got to wear a long dress. You got to cover all this up. And you can wear materials when it's hot out, obviously. And there got to be a damn wool sweater on in summertime. You got to do that. Read. And we'll yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Because we foolishly believe we're from Africa. No, you're not. You're from Israel, which is actually the northeastern part of the, the greater continent of Africa. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. What if I told you, sister, Mr. Samuels, where you going? Let me ask you a question. Do you think it would be wrong if I said that white people have never paid for the crimes of enslaving his fathers and mine? Would I be wrong? I, I would be wrong? So now, when I go to the Bible and show you that that's why they never want us to read. Because when we start reading, we understood that the Bible is for the victims of the slave trade. This is what's going to happen to them. If you get on the right side with God, you're going to make sure this happens. And this right here, this is what, you know when the slaves, they sang a song called, Swing low, sweet cherry hood, coming forth to carry me. Why? They wanted deliverance from the white man. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Because this is talking about kingdom come. This is talking about the good news that they didn't want the slaves to learn. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Watch this. Come on. And the people shall take them. Read it again. And the people shall take them. You ever heard the statement, you reap what you sow? What has the white man sowed in this earth? Slavery. Oppression. Okay. Single mother households, abortion, Planned Parenthood, okay, cigarettes and drugs. They brought that on us. Are we stupid enough to follow them? Read. Verse 2, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to take them and we're going to bring them to their place. What I, I said it before. You think... You think that she's happy right now. I'm asking you, mama. Do you think, do you think she is happy right there? What is she doing? She is being forced to breastfeed and take care of this oppressive child. You understand that? And this is Bible. Hold that. Read on. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. What does that mean? We're going to possess them in the land of the Lord. Watch this. What's your name, uh, Sister Willie or Rosie? What's your name? Uh, Marlena? Berlina. As you know, black people do that. They take two names. I had a sister named Lakeisha. They took Keisha and another one. Black people, we just come up with we We're creative people. I never heard that name before. Read it again. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. 
Listen good, sister, brother man. The house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Watch this. Listen to this. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. I, I'm going to read it three more times because I'm not going to let this slip over your head. Who were we captives to and still to this day in this country? Who? Who? Read it again. And they shall take them captives. And they, the Israelites, shall take them captives. Read. Whose captives they were. God says the good news is if you keep his commandments, one day you're going to take them captives whose captives you were of them. Now watch this. I'm going, God going to bring it all away so you can, cannot have any second guessing. Read. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Read it again. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Who oppresses us in this country? Bring it out. Bring it out. The Lord said we're going to rule over them. So that's, that's one of the pieces of the Bible that's the good news. But this is the problem. Go to Isaiah 30 verse 8. The problem, sister, is this. When we bring our history to our brothers and sisters, they're all for that. But when it comes to the laws of God, the Israelites, that's who you are. You're not black. You're not African American. That's all a bunch of lies. You are the Jews or the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Now, the Israelites, according to prophecy, you don't like the laws of God. I'm going to see if, if, if what kind of Israelite you are. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 8. Now go. Write it before them in a table and note it in a book. So that's why we read the Bible. Because the Bible is called the book of the law. We're going to bring the law out to you. Read. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people. When the prophets go to the book with tables, which is called the book of the law, the people of God, this is what they do. Read. That this is a rebellious people. The Lord calls you black people rebellious. Why? And they're going to tell you what that means. Rebellious, what you, you don't want to take your shoes off when you go in somebody's house? Is that what he's talking about? No. He's talking about you rebellious against what he told you to do. Read. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. The Lord said when he, he opens up the table of books that don't, don't want to hear the law of the Lord. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You got a beard in your face, don't you? You know that's a law, sister. That a black man is supposed to have a beard on his face. That's a law. It's a law that a black man and a black woman is not supposed to get tattoos. I'm not, I'm not condemning you. But let me show you something. Listen to me. Listen to me. Don't get no more. That's right. All right, now, but hold up. But let's hear from God. Your mama is right. Give me the tattoos, and I'm going to show you something else. Because you're still a young woman. You still got life left in you. In other words, you can still get attention from men, is my point. Men still are going to uh, gravitate and give you either positive or negative attention. And a lot of it, because if, if I look at you from behind, I don't know nothing about your personality. If I look at you from a distance, I don't know nothing about your personality. But when you dress righteously according to God, it sends off a message. And that's what we're here to teach you today. Read. Right. The book of Leviticus. Chapter 19 and verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. You heard that, sister? Hold up. Read it again. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. So the law is we're not supposed to get printed marks. So now, I say this. Look, you did it. It is what it is. What I'm saying is that we coming out the law. So you agree with that, and just don't do it no more, that's all. Because right. that right there, if I, come here, come here. This right here says R.I.P. Because someone that died, it meant a lot to you. And because they meant a lot to you, it might have been Willie and Rosie. Could have been your sisters or cousins, your father, mother. You want to remember them. The, the Bible says we learn that from other races. Bring it up. So now, sis, all you got to do to repent is just don't do it anymore. Now, let me show you something else. Because I went over with this brother earlier. Sister, let me ask you. Do you think I'm attacking you? Am I being mean to you? Great. You stay right there then. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. I'm going to tell you something. Because for too long, 
You have followed white, listen to me. You have, you and every all these black women out here have followed the white feminist indoctrination. It is not okay, you're, you're not. Now, there's a lot of evil black men out there. I'm not saying that there's not. You are not a man and I'm not a woman. And there's a way that you're supposed to dress and I'm just gonna bring you the law. And I'm a hope that you change. And if you choose not to change, you remember, you, you going against the one true God, right? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, I'm, I'm going to have him read it again, and I'm going to ask you a question. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So there's a saying that you know about, and he knew it too. When someone says, and makes a joke of the man, and they say this, I guess you don't wear the pants in the family. What is that talking about? Bring it out. Is that talking about little pants? You know it's not. It's talking about what? Control in the house, right? Am I right? Am I wrong? So read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. When a man puts on a dress, because that's where the woman's garment is, what spirit begins to come over him? A feminine, womanish spirit. So I'm going to tell you something. You, with all due respect, my dear sister, you are dressed like a man. And that's wrong. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And if this brother here had a dress on, I'd tell him the same damn thing. Let me ask you a question. You ever traveled anywhere outside of the United States with which you did not speak that language. Okay, so have you ever been to any country outside here? Well, let, 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 before you go, okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you, hold on, I'm gonna show you, right here. Israel Unite in Christ, IsraelUnite.org. And I want you to remember this, sis, listen to me. It's not okay for you to wear pants. You're a lady, you're a feminine. Listen to me, you're gonna change this by wearing dresses and covering all that up. And that's a message coming from a, a younger brother to you we love, you understand that? All right, so you go back to work, you go to that website, and no more pants for you, sister. What, I'm just gonna mess with you, what? Let, let me tell you something. My mother or my grandmother did not wear pants, so. I'll praise the Lord. I already knew. So look, they, 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 they hung on to the laws of God that their slave foremothers taught them. Excellent, beautiful. Hey, sister, congratulations. And you know what? You stay faithful to your husband. And I'm going to tell you something. You got to get him. You got to come down to the school because we teaching this in the community. They don't teach this in the Christian church, sister. They don't teach this in the Christian church. I was in that foolish Islam as well. Uh huh. I don't go to church. I'm trying to find me where I'm supposed to be at. You, the Lord is calling you home. You are an Israelite, and the Israelites must keep God's commandments. That's right. Twenty-eight, fifteen. You stay. This is this. Is how I'm going to show you the reason why black men are cursed in Chicago. It ain't just Chicago. New Orleans. They shoot people from the highway in New Orleans. Memphis, Compton, New York. It's all over. It ain't just Chicago that our brothers is killing each other. Right. We don't want to listen to the words of the Lord. That's why we catch hell in Chicago. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. It but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What is the voice of the Lord thy God? He gonna tell you. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So the way that we listen to God is when we do what he told us to do. But the lying, fake Christian church, whether it be black or white, never taught the Israelites how to repent. To scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark.
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.